Hi, it's Mark from winningsolutionsinc.com and microsoftaccessexpert.com and today I'm going to be showing you a video here of our uh, student assignment database. This is a simple but uh, quite functional database that may be sufficiently ready to go for a teacher who's trying to keep track of students and assignments and their grades. So uh, before we get started, just a couple of little points. When you download this demo, you may be watching the video through a uh, embedded uh, video on our website at microsoftaccessexpert.com and uh, that's just great. Uh, we've got uh, plenty more videos at our, on our YouTube page at uh, youtube.com slash msaccessexpert and uh, there you can also find some other uh, informative videos uh, specifically like uh, for uh, this demo which comes down as a zip file and if you're not familiar with zip files um, we've got a video on how to work with zip files there and if you happen to be watching this through um, our YouTube page uh, you'll see links below the video uh, that will take you to the other videos uh, that are associated with this like the one to show you how to work with the zip files uh, you may also get a warning when you download this uh, demo database uh, asking about uh, trusted locations. And so if you're not familiar with working with trusted locations, um, we've got a video to show you how to handle that as well. So uh, th this is a demo database, and so what you're downloading um, is a model of the uh, actual database. So the, the demo database is limited in a couple of ways. Uh, one is that uh, you can input all the information you want into the database, but when you close the database, um, it does remove, lose that information. Um, and then you're not able to modify the database. Now, when if you did decide that this database was going to work for you and you purchase it, um, then you are able to save information and you're able to modify the database by uh, changing it, making it more powerful or different, um, or incorporating it into another access database that you already have. So uh, with that, uh, we'll, uh, we'll get into uh, showing you this database. So let's start with the uh, Maintain Students uh, screen. And so with this screen, um, as the name implies, you can add students and you can uh, modify information about them. So you can see down here that we've got uh, three students stored. Um, and if we want to go look at student number two, we can uh, simply do that. It will change the information. If we want to enter a new student uh, record, we can just click on that. There is an uh, other student field here, which is for storing some other type of information. That might be a student ID number or something. Uh, you might want to have that database field modified. Now, if you're going to modify the database, you do need a little bit of skill in working with or uh, setting up and creating or modifying access databases. So if you don't have that skill, um, you can uh, find someone who does to help you out, um, or you can contact our company, uh, and uh, we will provide you with a quote to let you know what uh, it will cost to have us do the modification for you. Okay, we've, we've kind of seen this form, so let's go back to our main menu here, and let's take a look at maintain student grades. All right, so if we're going to maintain a student grade, we would select a student, and then uh, we would select an assignment that we're going to enter a grade for, and then uh, we would enter a student grade. Again, this is an example of a field where there are different grading scales used in uh, teaching, and so uh, you may want to modify the database to specifically work with your field. So if you're using an A through F system, uh, you may want to have a drop-down list that has A through F. Or if you're on a percentage system or some other system, uh, this field can be customized once you've purchased the database to be specific to the grading scale that you use. Okay, let's go back to our main form here, main menu, and let's look at maintain assignments. All right, so this is where uh, we had the uh, 13 lessons that popped up on the previous screen's uh, drop-down menu. So and we can scroll through those, you can edit those, and again, you can add a, add a new lesson type. All right, let's go back to our main menu and go to maintain assignment types. So here are your assignment types that we've already populated the demo database with. You can edit those or add to those. They're all displayed on the same screen here. So when you step through them, it just moves this little black arrow to the one that you're modifying. Um, or if you're creating a new one, you just enter it right here. Okay, let's go back to the main menu. And let's look at our uh, student grade report. 
All right, we really haven't done much with the reports in this uh, template, uh, but there is just kind of a very basic one right here. So you can go ahead and once you've purchased the database, go ahead and produce any type of report you want that has based on the information stored in the database. All right, well that kind of concludes our demonstration of this uh, simple database template. We hope you found this useful. We encourage you to download the template before you purchase the database so that you can try it out for yourself and make sure that um, you're comfortable with the way it works and that it's going to be a good value for you. Again, if there's something that it doesn't do or you want done differently, uh, you'll be able to modify it once you purchase it or have someone else do that for you or get a quote from us for having that done. And we do all kinds of access database programming work, not just this. So if there's other needs that you have or you have a totally different vision in mind for a, for a database, um, let us know and we'd be glad to give you a quote for that. So thanks for watching our video. Uh, please uh, visit our YouTube page at youtube.com slash msaccessexpert and our main website at winningsolutionsinc.com or our access specific site at uh, microsoftaccessexpert.com. Thanks a lot and have a great day.